All right, Brian. Uh, I'll request you to kindly stay on with us on the broadcast while we are also getting more updates as far as there are retaliatory missile attacks from Israel is also concerned in the response of the ballistic missiles that have been launched through Iran. Israel has now bombed viewers, the central Beirut killing at least six people after its forces suffered their deadliest day on the Lebanese front in a year of clashes against Iran-packed armed group Hezbollah. Israel has said it conducted a precise airstrike on Beirut. Three missiles also hit the southern suburb of Dhaya, where Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was killed recently. The Israeli military has said regular infantry and armed units joined its ground operations in Lebanon as Iran's missile attack and Israel's promise of retaliation raised the concerns that the Middle East could be caught up in a wider conflict. Brian, as we are also understanding uh, the facts that are coming from the conflict that's in fact escalating in the Middle East, Israel has also now bombed several locations and three missiles have hit the southern suburb of Daya. And in fact, now it is seeming like there is uh, the onset of even more retaliatory attacks coming from Iran. Well, definitely. Israel has clearly said that they will take a further step and a much harsher step uh, than Iran took and now at least even two people were killed and 11 were others injured also in this very Israeli attack on the Bashara neighborhood in central Beirut that happened early Thursday which was even given as a statement by uh, Lebanon's health ministry and the attack occurred in early hours marking a very significant escalation also in the ongoing uh, effect and even now the death toll from this very Israeli strike on central Beirut has even risen to six also now they have also been seen that there have been six uh, first uh, uh, you know, fatality so far, and where two pe people died immediately while others succumbed to their wounds later in the hospital. And still now, seven people still remain hospitalized as well. And also in central Beirut, also it was noted that explosions have been occurring almost every hour. Leave. And the most intense explosion was heard around 12.20 a.m. local time, uh, which was originating from the Boshori area, and which is just around a kilometer from the very location. And it was also said that the sound reverberated out down the building, shocking everyone nearby. Uh, that was even said by the locals there. And it also rather the missiles also rather, you know, targeted buildings that was reportedly struck also on a specific floor. So details are still unclear, but Lebanon's uh, Ministry of Public Health confirmed that the death toll now stands up to five, uh, up from two earlier that happened on spot, with three more victims that were succumbed to their injuries. And around eight others are still being treated in the hospital. And there was also uh, said that it was also said by the Ministry also of Lebanon, where uh, this is not the first time where central Beirut was even targeted so it marks only the second such attack in a year of hostilities between both Hezbollah and Israel as well and uh, as it was going as the conversation was also going another explosion also heard which was farther away making it another third of such explosion that happened in that very night. All right Brian thank you for sharing the